All right, everybody, welcome back to part number three of the House of Da Vinci 2. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, we are actually going to um, jump straight back in tonight, and we're in uh, Turin, it seems, um, for the uh, next chapter. So let's jump right in and uh, see what is in store for us this time around. Last time we had the, the little tie into the original game, which was um, uh, really cool. I really enjoyed that. So uh yeah, let's let's see what we've got this time. <sighs> Too many stairs. Video's getting old. I remember, Giacomo, that there were times when I set off for long walks through the steep hills around Milano in search of an inspiration for my painting of the Virgin of the Rocks. Although I was a lot younger at the time. But we are here for something completely different. The abbot of this monastery generously allowed us to visit the library and to study some of the books. My plan is to feign studying them and thus give you some time. In the meantime, you will try to locate the secret part of the library Luca Pacioli told me about. Somewhere in it, there must be the chronicle Ordo Justitialis. I was told by the abbot that Brother Malachi, who serves within these walls as a librarian, should expect us. Now, go and knock upon the door so he knows we have arrived. I bet I kind of I kind of feel like obviously because of um, your background and your studies and and bits and pieces, Mika. I kind of see like uh, a lot of this probably um, you, you quite enjoy because it's quite relevant to kind of like religion and things. It's quite like a lot of religious ties. Sorry, it's probably more. Uh, a, a best Laudetur sentence. Jesu Christus. You must be the honored Messere Leonardo da Vinci. I am Malachi from Hildesheim. Father Abbot bestowed upon me the duty to show you around the library. Thus, I welcome you and please follow me. All right. Um, now, I don't know what the budget is for the, the for this the studio, but to me, that was like an auto tuned, um, like computer reading that script that sounded like very um computer generated which is a little bit disappointing really um not to have like if that is the case like not not to have like a, a voice actor but the way like the words were being spoken kind of reminded me of like the way the uh, microsoft narrator talks to you we really didn't have the budget for uh, voice acting as such which is a shame because the rest of the game's been fantastic. In this scriptorium, our transcribers, illuminators, and bookbinders work day after day to transcribe and translate the greatest treasures of the Christian world, as well as the works of masters of the classical antiquity. I don't think it is, because you can hear the voice actor like taking the breath, so I don't think it is a Microsoft narrator. But it kind of, that, that first passage certainly sounded like My it. My brothers have just gone to their evening prayers. Therefore, you can devote yourselves to the study of the book you chose without any disturbances. The book is ready on the lectern. In case you need me, I will be meditating in our chapel. should now look for the secret part of the library. Seek anything strange or suspicious. Whatever will catch your eye. I'm already looking at this picture at the back here. Giacomo, we have to work quickly now. Do not worry. If anyone comes, I will divert their attention. You must... 
a little bit too fast. I thought he'd finish talking. My right, apologies. All right. Ah. Something that we can unscrew there, it seems. Yeah, this, like, right here, drew my attention. Like, we can insert something there. There isn't a lot else, I don't think, though, on that at the moment. It's just going to take us back to there, isn't it? Yep. All right, so let's back up, and we got over here. Okay, something else that's got more holes we can place in here, it seems. Some sort of podiums. And possibly um, maybe put something on here. See a lever. Skull. An interesting skull. Maybe the voice louder because the monks usually speak in a certain way. They want to be polite, but they want to do their obedient tasks and do other things as well as, as possible. Maybe that's where. Uh, possibly, yeah. Maybe they're trying to almost like be neutral, kind of thing. Right, so we can turn the angels. Not sure what else this does at the moment though, so we'll, we'll keep that in mind and we'll come back to this area in a little bit. Got some more of those platformy kind of things. Windows desktop. That's a big old area. This is There's a lot to sort of like explore and, and look at in here, it seems. Which is actually quite interesting given that like the previous um the previous area was just pretty much con confined to that whole box, that whole that whole puzzle. Um before we got back to the tower was just in that box. So okay, so looks like we have got to release this, possibly get them all to the same location. Oh, I didn't even, okay. I, I, okay. Here I was thinking I need to like, get them all up or all down, but like, yeah, no, they've got teeth here. So, uh, yeah, I should pay more attention to that, unfortunately. Is my mistake. So, need these two down. I want to have like these two here. Is it the opposites? That's what I wanted. Then both of these need to be down. That needs to be up. And that does that. There we go. Okay, we've got the gem. Now, I would hazard a guess gem is going to be used where we found that like screw hole previously but we will just have a quick look here what's going on crazy how you doing welcome along hope you're well
have a quick look over here and see what we got over here. So we need a key to get into here, it seems. I think we can do that. So it's a key for there. Book we can't interact with. A door we can't interact with. Over there. Can we interact with this door? Nope. Some text there, but we can't use it. Okay, so sort of narrowed down what we can and can't do a little bit here. First off, let's enter the gem into here. And it loosened that, it raised that up. Oh, sorry to hear that, crazy. I've, uh, I've been there, done that, and it is not pleasant. All right, this, this puzzle is interesting because... I don't know that there's, like, any sort of, like, visual clue here as to what we're meant to do. Or if this is just sort of like a... one of those um, ones where you just kind of have to get lucky, almost. Small shield with arms. I'm guessing we're going to be able to... Can we do anything with the arms? No, we can't. So many people have it, like, so different. Um, like, have loads of different, like... Um, they have it so... so They have it differently. Like, very differently. But, um... Yeah, it's certainly not pleasant. I know when I had it, I, I think I had it for a total, probably, I was probably with symptoms probably for about six days. And I felt like other than losing my, um, like my, like my taste and my smell, I pretty much had every other symptom, I feel. And then the stream. Uh, what you talking about, fool? Oh, sorry. I'm not in the right mindset to uh, understand your jokes tonight and your witty banter. <laughs> What's going on? Hope you're well. Welcome along, my friend. How you doing? Yeah, I read your message properly. I, I get it now. <laughs> it's too late in the day, man. It's impossible to go through here. Apparently. Okay, what am I doing with the shield then? Small shield with arms. Oh, hold on. It was around here, wasn't it? There was somewhere to put something in here. Hmm. That's not it. Hmm. Yeah, we just had some uh, technical difficulties, but everything's working. And uh, yeah, it's not disappointing, definitely. Do 
not delay, Giacomo. Look for anything out of the ordinary. Did I try the, this door handle here? I don't think I did. Nope, the door is blocked. Uh, yeah, I did. We we just we oh, we just played some like random stuff. Hmm. Yo, Evan. What's going on, dude? I might put use the shield back on this box. No. This is an interesting picture actually. So those big stone things are um um actually like tombs, I guess. Hopefully you're over the worst of it now, crazy, eh? Some very interesting camera angles on this thing. There's a way to... Oh, hello. They all got... Markings on them, I wonder. Maybe. Interesting. All right, where else have we got some of these? Tombs, rips. <laughs> good, Mika. It's all good. You know, you said like last night you um, you had some difficulty with the um, in the tower area that we was in last night with the like the number puzzle. So. You know, we all we all do different things. We all do things differently. There's two more to look at. One of them is over here. Doesn't appear though, however, these ones have got markings on them. Still clicking outside the window. It's annoying. Should have uh, looked for that mod death wish said about. Which prevents the mouse from going out the window. Oh, there's a mark on this one, though. There's no mark on the other one. That's a bit bizarre, isn't it? It's like the odd one out, then. Okay. We can use... No. I feel like there's one more somewhere. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm assuming somewhere. And it's not always thanks for cross check by the way, I just saw that. Thanks, Bob. Um No, you haven't been scammed out of a posture. 
I'm getting around to it. Jeez, Iron. Calm down. Who's the man? The man is Leonardo da Vinci. So I'm guessing that those um no, you didn't. Don't lie. Those um characters <laughs> that's a good stuff. Stream is it? Those characters are Oh, hello. I forgot about using this. Um relate to some sort of code. Yes, Leonardo da Vinci, and that's correct. Yeah, we just got to line, line them up with these things here, I guess. That would make sense. Got an embossed disc. Will that fit on our shield? No. All right, but um, maybe it's got the right prongs on the back of it. We'll go in one or two places. I'm thinking it's going to go on this painting over here. All right, things are happening. A part of a shield. Ah, okay, so then we can put this on the, um, but this main thing here, I think, that would make sense. We've got four prongs, four holes. There we go. Okay. So this is, this is our code, I guess, right? We got these characters. Possibly. Yeah, I think we have. Now, worryingly, though, there's nine of these. And I know for a fact I haven't found nine uh, areas where things are written. So, yeah, it's a little bit worrying that we've got more things there than we've actually found so far. Oh, hold on, though. This, this. Let me, let me get the arts and crafts going. Get the arts and crafts going. Arts and crafts with no do do do. A bit of arts and crafts. So we've got a uh, cedo, uh, new leaf. So we need to translate that into these symbols. So let's do a E E E. We haven't got an E. We don't know what E is yet. We haven't found E. Damn them, bro. 
Oh. Can you not hear me? Hold on. I had a Windows update last night and I think it's screwed on my sound cards. Oh yeah, look at that. It has. Of course it has, because that's just what it does. That should be better. Can you hear me now? Hello. Hey. Hey. You just you just just in time some arts and crafts. All right. Write down symbols. Yeah. We're gonna use. Are we using crayons? Uh, no, just, pen, just 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 pencil today. Oh. I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not mature enough. My mom says I'm not allowed to have paints and crayons yet. That's a shame. They're magical. They're magically delicious, just like oh. my paste. They... All right, don't don't rub it in, please. Because you're allowed crayons and paint. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we're missing the E. Uh, we're missing the E. Where do we find the E? Uh. Your ass and to the left. Steady. <laughs> I'm staying on course, Captain. Ugh. I mean, I guess from process of elimination, we can say what isn't any. So, you mean process? No, I mean a process. We shouldn't. No, pr no process. No, I mean what I said. <laughs> I'm not being lowered to your American standards. <laughs> It's the freedom way. <laughs> um, that one remains the same. Uh, I need a. Forgot to pull the chat out. What an idiot I am! Okay, so we just don't know then what the other one is. We do know though; it's not. Uh, we don't know. Not. Hey, who's this, uh, Scottney guy in chat? Uh, it's, uh, that was Evan. I think he's turned the stream off now, though. Uh, uh, let's see who's here. Hey, everybody that's here. <laughs> hey, Aaron. And, and those of you that aren't bots. These kind of games have one major issue. They don't force play to explore the whole area before going to a reveal and let you go area yeah, after a... area. And then I get puzzled. I don't like that kind of approach. This game doesn't have that issue. Yeah, I think um, Deathwish can probably vouch for like that. I know a lot of the games Deathwish has played, um, you just sort of like going from like one end of the... like when you're sort of going from screen to screen you go from one side of the map to the other just to get one one item and then you end up going back all the way back to the original side of the map and it can be frustrating for sure yay what feeling all right there yes <laughs> yeah it's also especially great if they don't give you fast travel like yeah. like the, like those maps are fine I have no problem with those maps if they give you, like, when you pull up the map and you go, yeah, I want to go there. And you click on it and you go there. But when they give you a freaking map and you still have to walk the whole way or, you know, click your way all the way through, screw your map. It's pointless then. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, Problem is, Iron, as you, you, I don't know if you played them. I guess you have, but uh, to be open for discovery, you can't click with so many places. It's not like you're. It's not like a uh, FPS. You're not freely walking around. <laughs> That's the thing. If that was the case, I could, yeah, I could understand. But even then, it would still be nice to have fast travel to. One end of the map to the other, or whatever locations you have available to you. That's all I'm saying. Because, uh, what, what, what's been my favorite game so far, Knock? Uh, uh, that type? Well, it, it's a toss up between two. It's between um, Abyss and um, 
What was that other one that we both played that was just pure garbage? That was something else. Uh, it was the one with the ghosts. It was the one with the ghosts. Yeah, I don't remember the name. I've played so many. I can't remember the name. But Abyss, yeah, that was that was abysmal. Uh huh. Uh. Oh, I'll go from there. Let me. I, I gotta find. I gotta find the name of that one now. Yeah, those are quotes I see now, Iron. I was. Uh, I need new glasses. Actually, I, I see. I see better sometimes without them, especially close up. I see 2020 close up. Um, just let me just have a look at my. I, it's gonna annoy me if I don't find out what it is. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> It'll never pop in my head because I. There's so many other stupid things I've played. And it's like, uh, they're, they're, it's, they're decent enough if they're half assed. But those were below that level. All right, where are you? You've got to be in my sort of six hour ish playtime, surely. Yeah, make it, uh, Totally different. Talos Principle and like, uh, uh, damn it. Now everything is going blank. That's what it's like to get old. Um, the Witness, same thing. Plenty, plenty to discover on the Witness. And, and it's, and it's fun to find stuff on, on there. At least for me, it was, uh, right. It must it must be on um, it must be on your library because it's not coming up in my um, recently played stuff. So yeah, how, how long ago was it that we played? Oh, not that long ago. Uh, it really wasn't that long. I don't know if I I don't know if I put it in my finished collection. The Adventures of Perseus. No, that wasn't it. It was. I remember it well. You didn't finish it. You, I, I'm pretty sure. Um, you didn't finish it because it was the one with that ri and like there was like the, there was like the boss fight things or whatever they were. And one of them was a boxer. One of them was a chef. And then the final thing was like dogs, and it was just complete and utter garbage. Yeah. I can't for the life of me remember what the name of it was. Uh, let's say it's probably better that we don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was just a absolute. Yeah, that's a tough call between that one and Abyss. Now that you said that part about like the quote unquote false fights. It that, was. That was the most ridiculous absolute pile of garbage all the lines covered here um yeah, yeah. i don't know if i was to overlay all of these that does make okay so that would be if that if that's the case this would be the full square that's what we're going for here um that would be that this one is this one the same oh no, it's triangle on top oh man yeah i can't find anything either to the the last one i I was playing was Epic Adventures with uh, Lunchagata. All right, time yeah, for everybody's favorite. This is the only time my mom allows me to play with colors and paints. 
Yeah, but that's digital. That doesn't count. All right, so that's that. Lot. Oh man, that 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 brush strokes way too thick. You think? <laughs> All right, so if 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 I got if I'm thinking about this right, we'd have a line there. It's like one of them. Uh, a line there. Pretty school. Line uh, there. Huge ass like there. markers the size of uh, a, a corn on a cup. <laughs> I'll go across there, across there, and have a line there. I don't think I don't think the game knows that you're doing this. Shh, don't tell it. Just guessing. Okay, so that's this is what I'm looking for, I think, this one right here. Then you that's would right. have one. What? I think I covered everything. This is something I never did, so I'm not sure why you're doing it. <laughs> All right. Well, this is my understanding of this puzzle. So, oh, but it's interesting to watch. Yes. My my in my interpretation of this puzzle is that let's say with each of these sides, um, these lines are showing us what the shape should be underneath in the middle. So. I basically just put all the lines on top of each other with the red pen. Now I need to find the, um, the shape. That's what we're looking for. Absolutely needed. It's not that one. It's not that one. Uh, I've been listening to you talk, but not hearing it. <laughs> Let's try. See if it works when they're on. Boom. There we go. Oh, uh, son of a... Turn on, you piece of... Okay, then we'll use the key. And... Oh, uh, there you go. All right. I can hear. We found a secret staircase. However did I... However did I work out how to open that door? Well, why would they put that mechanic on a door there? I yeah. Mean, it, it, granted, it's kind of why not just a doorknob? I mean, that's just oh, why not just here. just just not bother it? Yeah, because you've already had to solve a puzzle and, and work something out to get here in the first place. Well, well, that the fact that that's just it, it's not a puzzle. You just literally have to go through the motions. That'd be a pain in the ass. Like if you had to get out in the case of a fire. Good God, gotta flip that up, flip that up, flip, slide that down, slide that up. <laughs> Just have a, a door on the spring hinges, like in a cafe, a diner. All right. Interesting. Some sort of elevator, by the looks of it. Or a tree. They uh, hang people. Person at the bottom takes them off, rides back up, hook the next person on. Whee! Snap. Yeah, I was, I was trying to be not so morbid about it. <laughs> <laughs> See all the arrows. All right, so something here slides, so we can put something in here. It looks like it will slide across. Credit card. something there. Insert credit card there. Let's go down the stairs. So it's how oh. they uh, light and they, they speed. Use, they use the game mechanic, and you have to actually uh, insert credit card. It's you know uh, pay to play. Can't you can't move on any further without payment. You didn't you didn't tell me that before I started. Well, I wanted it to be a big surprise for you. Awesome part of the game. We got a one handle. And app transactions. All right, so we got to add more to this, but it's not the wooden handle. It's that iron does not fit. Okay. That's the wooden bit. 
Oh, that's looking a bit suspicious. Suspicious, easy for me to say, of course. Okay. A heavy brass component. Put your pipe down, old man. <laughs> Look at there. Isn't that fancy? We got a winch wheel. Boy. Item is now complete. Let's uh head back up the stairs for now. Yeah, that bag on the floor has a dead guy in it. Man. No spoilers. Please. <laughs> All right, so now we can like adjust that. We should be able to place this. If we find the right shape, we should be able to place this on here. Try and actually think about what shape it's going to be. Make a smiley face. That always works. There we go. That should be the one. Boom. We are an advanced craftsman, apparently. Amazing. Was that just me, or was, did that look like a guy with no arms who just did the splits as that sort of like did that? It looks like he has <laughs> one arm. The handle is an arm. <laughs> it's exactly what I thought it was. I thought it was some mechanical doll. I forgot all about that. Hey, it's a tool with two <laughs> levers. Just what I always wanted. I'll be honest. I mean, who wouldn't? The more well, yeah. tools, the merrier. I mean... Yeah. I don't know how to use it, but when's that ever a problem? It's, uh, that's not a problem. Oh, item complete. Winch mechanism. See, it tells you what it is. It already said the item's complete. You're still trying to add shit. <laughs> yeah, that item was complete, but it doesn't mean that uh, I can't add, try and add something else. Uh, right, okay, so we come... We go up. Yeah. Dude. Up, up and away. Okay, so that's not working. That's up and down. Um, came from up, didn't it, I think? Well, let's send yeah. it back that's down. The way it, that's the way it was, yeah. Okay, it won't go down any further. That's because you're freaking okay. ceiling. So we got a winch mechanism. Also, can we do anything with this now in here? Kind of looks like it's the, sh the shape of it, but I don't think we can. All right, can't do anything there. But if we've got a winch mechanism, then I would assume, assume, I like assuming, that <laughs> we're going to. Um... Yeah, I like assuming too. Because when I assume. It makes ass out of you and me. <laughs> Not ash. <laughs> All right. Well, what's, what's the plan here then? Let's. Oh, uh... uh, that's that's the thing where they keep all the ashes from the burnt corpses that were hanged. Okay. So. Uh, polishing stage, make it cool. You'll be uh, happy and satisfied when all that's done, I bet. Yeah, I know. Uh, obviously, on a completely different level, but there's no better feeling than. Like, putting the final touches on your thesis, trust me. I know, Mika, you've been there before anyway, but... Uh, okay. What are we doing here, then? Okay, I'm guessing we've got to, like, balance these...
Oh, okay. Hold on. Yeah. I see what's happening here. Duh. Yeah. Well, I think I do. Um. You should be done in about 15 more seconds. I should. Okay. Let's think about this. That's I uh, um I go Okay, it's not what I thought it was. Okay, that one's fine. Where did my Discord go? Yeah, I, I thought I got it, but then turns out I had no idea when it came to it. <laughs> that never happens. Never. Never at all. Alright, so uh, now we have got to go back up and I guess we've got to lower the hook. Ah, let's lower the dynamite. The elevator is locked. I know the elevator is locked. They don't have to keep telling me. That reminds me of that thing where guys like uh <clears throat> you can make a bomb out of uh toilet paper all you need is some toilet paper and a stick of dynamite oh hold on whoa 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 are you riding a horse yeah whoa 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 <laughs> Why? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. The controls are for the elevator, not for the winch. So when I put that in down, the elevator started coming down again. That's uh, my bad. Slight confusion on my part. Anyway, we get there. It never happens. Ever, ever. <laughs> I'm here just to help point those things out. Lost without you. All right, so now if we flick this to the other way. Oh, uh, that a counterweight. Now we bring this down. That's locked back in place. We can probably change this one. And well, that was a bit of an anticlimactic ride, I'll be honest. <laughs> and Uh, they're trying to get a hold of me for to let me know about my car's extended warranty. <clears throat> Dude, I thought I, I thought you'd already sorted that out. Uh, I've done it like twelve times now, but apparently I needed I need to do it with multiple companies, like a lot of them. Yeah, you know you. There's a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of companies went into building your car, dude. I know. Yeah. Well, I've, so far I've got twelve of them take twelve extended warranties. It's only costing me like forty, forty some thousand dollars. Wait, my car is only, my, my truck, it's it's only worth like uh, fifteen hundred bucks at this point. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a ninety seven, so. I need to extend everything I can get out of it. As long as it lasts me uh, for the rest of my life, I'll be fine.
All right, now, just hold on a minute here. Hold, hold on a minute. We are locked in our seats. I, I have a I have a burning question to ask. It's bit here. How did the uh, how did this get through that little tiny hole? It's it's the way of the ages. I mean, uh, how, these are complicated mechanisms. That can't be to be explained in one simple sentence or anything. It would, it would take a, a, a master's thesis to explain it to you. Mika, I think we found out why it took you 17 hours to complete this game. <laughs> well, Ponky's in the house. Hey, the port of the Ponk. Everything going, dude. Did I ever ask you how you came up with your name? If I did, I don't remember. So please... Please explain where Port Honky comes from, if, if you wouldn't mind. There you go. Now you know. Uh, I don't really buy that. I can't sell it. Uh, that for real, you were actually... You made it. <laughs> I know it's free, right? <laughs> we found a window crank. Is that not just like a... No, nah, it's a special window. That, it's not for a window. It's for that piece of wood. Rod with a ring. Square spanner. That's a old school wrench. Old school wrench. Yeah, it's before they came up with the crescent wrench. Make it easier instead of having that closed ended part. That's a. Uh... It's a spanner. You'd be surprised how many people don't know why a crescent wrench is called a crescent wrench. Enlighten his death wish. Why is a crescent wrench called a crescent wrench? No, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Are you, are you asking ah. facetiously or are you asking? No, no, asking? I'm, I'm genuinely asking. Intrigued. Well, well because it's. Like a like a crescent moon, it's, as opposed to that spanner you were calling that. Uh, it's open ended, and it's the shape of a crescent. <laughs> Sign me up, Paul Punky. <laughs> a croissant wrench. Hand me my croissant wrench, please. You see, that's, that's the fancy one, though. We just call everything <laughs> a spanner. Everything's a spanner. Yeah. Although, although we do call, um, although some people call it an adjustable spanner, I do call uh, an adjustable spanner a monkey wrench. So, uh, a, uh, a monkey wrench, a monkey wrench is a very specific type of wrench. An adjustable wrench as well. Yeah. Uh, an adjustable wrench is basically an adjustable crescent wrench, essentially, but it's just called an adjustable wrench. Oh, look, Maxwell Smart entered the game, except instead of a phone in the bottom of a shoe, <laughs> he's got a metal flower leaf. <laughs> sure, the metal flower leaf will be loads more useful than a mobile That's a phone. Hey, be careful, be careful. That's a grenade. <laughs> Just pull the pin and run. <laughs> Everything else will take care of itself. Right. Oh, why why do they call it a master's th thesis? Why not just shorten it like they do our names? Like, uh, uh, I'm, I'm working on my Mr. Thesis.
Yeah, because Mr. is short for Master. The MR version. But what instead? And I swear these these houses is they're not anything you could just you, they blew they blew IKEA out of the water because you don't need an Allen wrench you can take everything apart just by turning stuff and no to, no tools required you can just assemble this whole place you just have to do it in the right order uh, it'll go faster if you use that grenade there. And a chainsaw. Don't forget the chainsaw. It's good that you've um, you've enjoyed doing your your thesis. Definitely, Nika. I didn't. I didn't do mine. I just uh, went on Google, copied and pasted, it, printed it out, and I was done. It only took me like, I mean, sixty seconds tops. Oh, uh, don't worry, uh, Mika, my question was, uh, it was rhetorical. Just like, really the thing we're doing here? That's what you're doing. I don't see anything else to do, that's the worrying thing. You gotta, you gotta wear your special goggles. I am wearing my and special it, goggles. And then you gotta shove it up your ass and turn it to the left. <laughs> it changes how everything looks. That's like the ultimate lock picking uh, mechanism. Can I just pull the pin? Can I just pull the pin on the grenade and? That's what I'm saying. Pull the pin on the grenade and just blow it open. No, that requires something more specific. That that spot requires whatever's inside of this spot you're trying to get into. <clears throat> that there is a clear belief. But the direction of travel is going to create havoc. Those arrows indicate anything. Now you can see the base shape of it, you jackhole. Game of Ludo? Try it. down here. Knock just wants to stick his stuff in all the holes. Flame. Nice little cushion. It's like a velvety red cushion. It's the everlasting candle that never burns out. I have one of those. Damn it, if you can't, I can't get it out. It just keeps burning. Well, would you look at that? Hey, it's an OLED display. First thing about this, this needs to be Rotated five degrees. Well, that's quite temperate. To this say. needs to be forty-five degrees. Is quite that. hot. If you're talking about uh, non-freedom units. I think I actually meant ninety degrees. So, for me. Oh, that's even hotter! Wow, that's hot in freedom units, much less uh, non-freedom units.
Isn't that one of them? So what's 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 your thoughts on Russia getting their ass handed to them? Uh, I've been uh, to be honest. I haven't looked at the news, so. Well, I don't have to. I I just I just know what the news is. That's how you have to go about it. Yeah, Ukraine's are... They took April Fool's to a new level. Here, let us help you. Here's some food. Enjoy. Yeah, I, I, did, I did see that. <laughs> Enjoy that. May it be delicious. Because it'll be your last meal. <laughs> Oh, we didn't. I didn't tell you that last part. Why did I walk away from this? Ba ba ba! We got the essence, top. essence of tulip. You need to pop the top and swallow it down, baby, like a shot. <laughs> right, I need to, shot. I need to understand, like, I wonder if these are the opposite way around, actually. That, I cannot say. Because I am in shotgun. The front seat. Riding yeah. as a passenger. That's what's I am, going on here. Yeah, these are... I am thus a passenger in your game vehicle. Yep. Okay. So they're controlling the opposite sides. Well, I mean, you can see by the symbol on them, you ding dong. You donkey! <laughs> what do you mean the symbol? Is, the symbol's the same. On the yeah, on the wheels, that just tells you which direction it's going. Give me a donkey, donkey. Hey, is that is that a Gordon Ramsay thing, or is that an actual great expression? Well, you donkey. Oh. Calling somebody a donkey, yeah. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say I, I call many people a donkey, so must be a Ramsey thing. Yeah, I, I kind of find it funny. Like it's like it's so simplistic, and it's not using any cuss words or anything, but it's like so demeaning at the same time the way he says it. <laughs> I think the first time I heard I heard it was on uh, Kitchen Nightmare. It was on over here. He's like, "You donkey!" I suppose yeah, for like, whatever reason, it just freaking cracked me up. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, obviously he's um, he's got like Scottish roots. Um, Paul Ponky, is it a um, is donkey a common like expression and common term in Scotland? This. I tell you what, this, this, I don't know if I'm just like being stupid about this, but this puzzle is a little bit tedious. It is, it is Scotland, so that's more of a Scotland thing then, okay. But I would say, that, uh, as an American, uh, it's, to me, it's just, when I hear, if I hear that, which I don't, Typically, it's coming out of. A metal component. Gee, I wonder where this could go. Not there. Okay. I'll shut my trap.
The only the only thing I can the only reason I said about like a, a Scottish term is because all I can picture in my head is um, uh, Mike Myers in Shrek. Going, like, have you tried? Uh, okay. Have you tried pulling a pin on a grenade yet? No. Oh, well, that's where you're you're missing out, dude. Sitting here, turning on this stuff, doing these things. You know, pick pick the thing that least matches that. <laughs> Not suspicious at all. Looks almost like a rudimentary pawn piece. Interesting. And it's been pulled. Run for your lives. Oh, I'm serious. You weren't supposed to do that. Oh, crap. Run. <laughs> okay. So. S. This is going to relate to the symbols on here, I guess. The only thing we know is tulip. Well, I say we know tulip. The only thing we've got is the tulip. Of it. <laughs> so is there a location that we can put the tulip? There is. Does it fit in all of these? It does. That's unfortunate. But we know that actually this is the tulip one, so... Strange as, key. As Gordon once said to a contestant, why did the chicken cross the road? Because you didn't fucking cook it, you donkey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm guessing we've got to find like the rest of them, oh, which is. Um... Right, doing something with um, astrology now. It's not equal thing because they mean two different things. <laughs> uh, that was just a weak joke on correcting yourself. Because you didn't use an asterisk. Or as they say in Britain, uh, an asla an asteruske. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing here. That obvious. I thought the idea was to like 
open them all, but maybe we need to close them all. Yep. I agree with you. And I disagree with you at the same time. How's that? Oh boy. Honestly, How long are we going to be here? Not helpful. <laughs> well, sorry, not trying to be. <laughs> Here's a sad. <laughs> I'm still on the Ramsey thing. Yeah, he's, he's, he's come up with some funny ass quotes. Uh, of course, he was bashing a dish. Uh, you know, he never does that, but <laughs> he's like, you use so much oil that you just wanted to invade the fucking plate. <laughs> Come on, that's funny now. God damn it. I'm not saying it's not funny. I'm just... Um, uh, so I'm trying to break... I'm trying to break your mental so that you, you get this. It's kind of... It's my way of making you walk away and come back again. And then you see what you're supposed to do. That's all. All right. Walking away. Coming back Walking again. away, not pushing buttons, coming back again. Yeah, I still didn't see it. <laughs> Open your eyes, you donkey! Only 12 hours to go. <laughs> Next James Bond. That that would absolutely I think that would be an actual hilarious uh a movie if they had him playing James Bond. And but him being his character and sort of mixing it in with a little bit of like he does the James Bond stuff. But in a, in a Gordon Ramsay way, <laughs> I think that would be pretty damn good. For like a, uh, I guess, what would you call that? A, a parody, whatever, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, and poor Punky said it on here, so uh, we were all witnesses if a movie comes out like that with Gordon Ramsay in it playing James James Fond like Fondue <laughs> James Fondue then uh, <laughs> just stop right there jeez uh, uh, poor, poor Parker gets the credit and gets all the millions and millions that will be made from that because everybody would watch it Oh, and that's not how you spell Ramsey. Ramsey is R A M S A Y. You're welcome. Now your life is forever changed. <laughs> Grandma, Rams please can go home now. Ramsey. <laughs> Donkey. <laughs> Ever wonder why they call it the spelling B? Why did A get skipped over? Was the original one they couldn't spell anything with an A in it? So they switched it to uh, it's a spelling B. 
Are they just the, the, the only animal they could think of was too long, like anteater or alligator or antelope. And they're like, no, skip that. B, 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 E, E. Yeah, that's a good one. We'll use that. We'll call it a spelling B. Because when you miss in front of your whole class and everybody else, and you accidentally misspell something, even though you know how to spell it, you get stung and you feel like a bitch. Speaking of spelling bees, uh, I was a uh, spelling bee champ all the way through from beginning of school to high school. Of course, high school, we didn't have spelling bees anymore. Okay, I want to try. Okay. See if I remember how to spell that word. Uh, e. Uh, J O I T. J I N E. W, I think. G F <laughs> R B N C. Did I get it right? No, you're wrong. Oh god damn it! What did I? What do I? What did I miss? I, I sounded it out and everything to myself, but. Oh, it's an S, not a C, right? Shit. Man, you know how many champions there would be if we had online spelling bees? I'm not being funny, but did I not do that before? I'm a little bit... salty about that. Uh, yeah, Mika. Uh, especially in middle school. That's at least when I was going to school. Middle school being, uh, like fourth, fourth or seventh grade. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Uh, yeah, you had a classroom, but every class had a spelling bee within the class. And then the winner. Uh, well, all, all the grades and all the classes had their own spelling bees. And yeah, you had to stand up in front and everybody had their turn to spell and got knocked out elimination style. Uh, now, it was part of your curriculum. Uh, it's what you, you had to do. It. It, was, it was part of teaching you both, both uh, one, uh, spelling, uh, two, uh speaking uh even though you're not speaking speaking but speaking in front of a a, a, a crowd so it was kind of supposed to help both things but plenty of people were like i'm just gonna misspell this shit on purpose just so i don't have to be out here <laughs> but uh yeah, once once every class, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, had a class winner, then they had the school spelling bee. And so you had all of those people uh, in each in each of the grades go against each other. And then the winner of each grade went to the finals, which all the parents came to and every living relative that had nothing to do <laughs> came to the auditorium. So yeah, I, I was always standing in front of a couple hundred people even back then uh, waiting for your word and you did it. And you, you say it, say the word, spell it, and then say it again. And if you didn't do that exactly, even if you spelled it correctly, you're out. Like you had to say the word, 
spell it, say it again. Otherwise, if you didn't do that, out you go. Well, don't don't it. don't forget the old not not that I, we ever had, we we sorry let me let me actually speak not that we ever did them, but don't forget the would you use it in a sentence please? You always see that. Uh, on a, you always see that on the TV whenever you see like a spelling bee and something. Oh uh, uh, yeah, that's like usually you'll see if it's on TV that's like nationals and stuff, and they those kids can have like freaking olympic train because they spell shit that uh even after they spell it i can't spell it <laughs> it's like damn they've been you know they they study that shit night and day and and they're the definitions and they're the origins and like they i mean they study the words it's crazy yeah uh back when i was doing it at least school level uh no, we, we didn't have an option to say, uh, yeah, could you, that I recall, I may be wrong, could be, uh, did, like, could you put that in a sentence or what's, what's the definition or anything like that? Um, but yeah, I, I went to a spelling bee once that was, between, that was between multiple schools. And I got to the end between me and somebody else, and there were 70 people, and I was so, uh, Yeah, I can imagine it's not very nice for some people, especially if you're not like a great speller. A flag. I put them the wrong way around, I think, haven't I? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, so what we left? A weird. The weird F. Which is the white one. I still don't know what I'm doing with this. We're clearly missing um, something here. How we can activate this. Danga bus? Place something in there. Uh what is what is obligatory? That means I, th I think quite... I think um I think my Mika probably means mandatory. Okay, yeah, I mean Okay, uh, I guess I missed something there. I wasn't really. I uh, was there. No, he was there out. Uh, Mika was just asking, like, was are the like, obviously are the spelling bees mandatory? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's how I took it. Uh, I, I took it as mandatory. That's why I answered it the way I did. Obviously, knock you donkey. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I knew what he meant. Ah, there we go. Star ornament. Yeah, I wonder where that could go. Ah. Somewhere where, where there, there must be a shape somewhere with all these holes everywhere. <laughs> oh, come on. You really thought that shape matched up to that? Come on. Uh... Now, just trying, now, once again, Nock, you're trying to stick your thing in any hole you can find. But at the end of the day, it was the only place I'd sit. I knew where there was still something left to do, and I hadn't even seen that there was a missing thing there. So, uh, calm yourself down a little bit. Take a chill uh, pill. Uh, 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 okay, okay, okay. I think I'm good. Oh, finally pulled the pin. Properly this oh, time snap. as well. 
Oh, snap. Got all the toxins in there. And boom. Straight key doesn't look very straight to me. To be honest. Overall, technically, it's pretty straight. Uh, if you ignore the extremities sticking out from it. That's never going to fit there, is it? Okay, so where are we missing? What are we missing with this? I don't think I've seen anywhere else to like use a key, so... Interesting. Why can we zoom onto that part, I wonder? We just picked that up, I guess. Pretty sure the book's done with. Uh, get out your chainsaw. This will be a lot easier. Are we chainsawing again? Uh, I think it's time. We use a grenade, so chainsaw is all we got left. We use the we use the grenade because it, we you know I thought it's a step up from the chainsaw. Yeah, I but I didn't still, a... I didn't, uh, I didn't still expect you to be using the uh, uh, the chainsaw. Honest. Oh, that's that's always in your arsenal. Can't actually think of anywhere which I've not interacted with. So I'm drawn back to here, but I mean, Let's see, what I could do. So what's for dinner tonight? I guess all of, all of most of y'all have eaten. Yeah, I had uh, well, I had the exciting combination of uh, egg beans and chicken sausages. Oh God, was it blood sausage? No, chicken sausage. Oh. Aha, uh -huh, poor Punky has a regular airbag. He's beneath us. Lose air. What a donkey. <laughs> he can't even afford a... A, 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 a shit what? crust... <laughs> shit crusted airbag. <laughs> you know what I've come to realize? This game loves a wing nut. <laughs> that... Oh, that is so true on so many of these. You are always picking up a wing nut in this game, man. Seriously. Hey, they, they're handy little fellas.
Yikes. Oven vegetables with avocado and pecan nuts and spinach. Yeah, I couldn't. Honestly, I couldn't eat vegan. Uh, not solely. I could I could definitely eat like everything you've taken pictures of, Shanika. I could I could definitely eat it. Uh, but I would I would also have to have uh, like like a lot of them would be perfect with a side of like chicken. You know, or every now every now and I I don't eat much eat much red meat. Uh it's just, yeah, not that I don't like it. I just just don't have it much. Don't feel like cooking it. Summertime, summertime I tend to have more because, you know, grilling out, that sort of thing. But yeah, uh, my favorite is fish. Uh, fish and chicken, my, my two favorites. I love, but I, I do love a good brisket. Uh, I'll take a, a, a brisket. Hmm. Man, could I get the heck out of some brisket? Oh, so what, so what are you waiting there for? All you gotta do is pull the handle. <laughs> to be fair, though, I was like pressing the handle like I did previously when we was in like the lower part of the library, and nothing was happening. Like I had, to, I had to. Um, I had to like touch it in a specific manner by the looks of it. Which caught me off guard slightly. Yeah, Mika, I don't I don't subscribe to religion. Uh, nothing personal. You choose their own. Uh, I, I grew up being forced to go to these Baptist uh Southern Baptist which y'all probably don't have over there, I'm sure. Um not probably. I guarantee you, you don't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's Southern ba Baptist churches and uh, yada yada yada. There's if you can think of it, somebody's made a church out of it. Yeah, I, I just don't uh, believe in any of the ideologies from any of those. They do more harm than good. Uh, at least, at least here. Because they're usually, it's either people that don't really believe so much uh, as they just kind of go during like Easter and they go at Christmas and, you know, and then you got a small group of people that do attend every week and that sort of thing. But the majority of people, yeah, it's just casual and nobody but then, but then you got those extremists. And then unfortunately, they got big mouths. What? <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> Hit that bell. Um, yeah, it's funny how certain countries, uh, well, not really funny in any sense, uh, the Ikes, but, uh, hey. certain countries are, yeah, that has to do with the portal. You're right clicking, I assume. You're, yeah, but... You assumed correctly. Oh, good. I, I finally assumed something correctly. Seeing what to do here, though, I'll be honest. If I'm. Uh, grab a Grab your belt. And throw it over the rope and ride down like uh we well like Assassin's Creed style. Oh wow, I'm I'm almost caught up to Mika. 
Mika used to be way ahead of me. Yeah, 1,508 points ahead of me. If I, I just did a quick look, I don't know if that's correct. <laughs> sneaky. Very sneaky. Imagine them hiding a key inside of a piece of wood on a banister. It's like if, if I went to a place like that, I'd be pulling on everything as I walk by. <laughs> and I'd end up falling to my death in like an alligator pit. <laughs> like, damn it, wrong one. Shit, never restarts. Metal grate. The metal grate with a lever. A lever. God, can't you ever say anything right? It's a lever. You know what? I was trying to do the American thing. <laughs> yeah, well, and I just thought of it. We have a soap I haven't seen in forever advertised. It's called it's called lever. Like that's that's what it's called, lever. It's spelled the same, just like that. But they call it. Ah, oh, I remember this one. This one was. That's a, that's a weird name for a soap. Uh, yeah, I know. It's like, where did that come from? This is the House of Mirrors. Alright, so we yeah. can't go back through the portal. That's fine. We have, um, like, Imperial Lava, but not called Lever. And when you say soap, do you mean, like, um, like dish soap? Uh, no, soap. uh, like bar soap. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a bar soap. They kind of came out of nowhere, like back in the, yeah, that, I think it came back out in the early 90s or so. I don't know. I can't remember. It's a long time ago. And Lever. And that's what they called it, Lever. And I just, I never questioned the pronunciation of it because because it's a brand name, so spelling and pronunciation means nothing when it comes to brand name. <laughs> kind of like some people say Nike and some people say Nike. Well, I'm pretty sure they call it Nike, but uh, on the same, on the same Nike, name, man. Nike, Nike. Oh, kind of like Mike, but on the same name, exactly. <laughs> like uh. Like, uh, Nike, like, likey. Can I just, uh, can I just, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> can I just say something here? It's like a comment at the start of the stream about like some of the voice acting sound like it was like Microsoft narrator. I just want to like take a look at this like skybox thing going on here, which is like clearly just been ripped from Google Maps or something with a load of satellite images. Like. As much as I love this game, they just seem to have like cut corners in places, and um, this kind of ruins the experience a little bit for me. You're not supposed to pay attention to that. You're supposed to be focused on the inside, yeah. not the outside. Yeah, but I'm not being funny. But when when you are playing a game like this, where there is you have to be so observant about everything, it's um, it's, it's pretty hard to not notice things like that. If I'm honest. You're looking for every well, little uh, detail. I'll, I'll give that to you. Uh, the outside never dawned on me. Did it seem like it was out of like Google Maps or something? Oh, uh, okay. You wasn't joking when you said House of Mirrors. Yeah, I didn't actually mean to say that. Yeah, well, I just worked it out, so it's fine. Yeah, this is one that's, uh, it, it's, it's easy, but kind of, uh, how should I say? Hey, there's a lever. 
<laughs> Just talking about levers. Yeah, if you take it, if you take the L off, you say ever. Add the L on, why would it become lever? Like beaver is B E A V E R. You get an L on the end of that, that would be lever. With L E V E R, that's lever. Come on, you, you guys can catch up to us. We're we're a little more advanced in our uh, terminology, so just just accept it and move along. Meanwhile, I'll advocate for the metric system because it's far better. Looks like there is a hole for a lever right here. Lever. Because <laughs> how do you how do you spell cleaver? Like we chop e shit with. E A V E R. Okay. So if cleaver is spelled that way, how would lever be spelled? Take the C off. Boom. But lever. Lever has not got an A in it, right? Right, so it's so, lever. Onyx, man. Yeah, there, there, there's, so, there's so many words that make no sense. Like on, like on both sides, how they're spelled and how they're said. It's literally all the same on both of our, um, on, on British English and US English. It's all the same. It's just some of them are backwards. And yeah, we, we spelled it in a way that looking at it phonetically uh, Turn to that. It would, would, would be pronounced one way, but it's not. And yeah. That hits that one. Yeah. Yeah. Punk Punky, we could have a whole uh, dictionary of words that are spelled so similar. You're talking about tomb, comb, bomb. I mean, tomb, comb, boom. Right? <laughs> yeah, it, it just doesn't make sense. You, you, the only reason why people know it is because it's ingrained into you when you're a kid. You know, that's that's why English is one of the hardest languages to learn. Uh, I mean, from what other people tell me, I mean. So yeah. Yeah, and that's one of the one of the reasons I kind of tried to um, drum home a lot to uh, people who aren't native English speakers. You know, it really doesn't matter because. Um, you know, the fact that you can even speak any form of English, I think, is is hats off to you. Yeah, if you're, if you're if you can get your message across, you're doing just fine. <laughs> and they say like like uh, Mandarin and certain you know you know Chinese languages. Chinese is one of the hardest. Uh, I I would say I wouldn't I wouldn't disagree with that, but I don't know. Uh, I have no way to compare it to learning English because I didn't. Yeah, I learned English, but as a kid growing up, so no matter what language you grow up learning, that's normal. And yeah, to other people, it's like, uh, Yikes. like yeah, it's oh, blinded by the light. All right, will that uh, CCR uh, tune up? That was credence, right? Find it by the light. Uh, yeah, now know. I'm question questioning myself if it was CCR or another band I'm thinking of, but I can't think the name of. You're jerking the sun off. <laughs> Uh, 
You're wiggling his wings. Redoing his hair, dude. Yeah, poor Punky. We, we know you just learned English. Uh, wait, Blinded years. by the lights. Hey! Achievement right. unlocked. You found a wheel. You, you brute forced it. Good job. Yeah. Brute forced it? I was just looking at the, the scratch marks. Oh, well, you didn't say what you were doing, so I assume you brute, brute forced it. Oh, no, I didn't brute force it. Um... Ah, uh, you're right. You were, but you weren't saying anything like you were talking well, no, about yesterday. But you know, um, the, you weren't the, saying your thought process. The the thing is, I have such a great like commentary team now on the stream that it's <laughs> di it's difficult to get a word in edgeways. So, okay, I'll shut up then. Go ahead, go. <laughs> no, go. please what don't. Are you doing? What are you doing? What please are you doing? don't. <laughs> uh, I'm 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 going to bed. No night, guys. I nice see you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> your, host, stream off. your host for this evening is Death Wish 808 <laughs> <laughs> alright we need to work out where we uh, where we use a lot of this stuff um, uh, don't wait, I need to find somewhere with uh, slot oh, I said slot not slut yeah it's it's Uh, well, I don't need to say anything. There, there's a lot of competitiveness. If I remember, but... You don't remember nothing. Uh, uh, when somebody... Now, those in chat, and as, as you, you as well, Doc, uh, uh, the, the shortened term... Uh, kind of like, you know, LOL, laugh out loud. That's been around forever. Uh, IIRC, to me, that's if I recall correctly. Uh, but I've seen other people think it means something different. What does IIRC mean to you? Um, if I recall correctly. Okay. Yo, so, Eddie, what's going on, dude? We got, hey, the, uh, we got the Recursed Appreciation Society going on tonight. Yeah, right. Recursed. I don't know what that is. Sounds like a piece of shit. But <laughs> maybe I'll check it out one day. Eddie's, I... uh, Eddie's probably taking a break these days from his official Recursed PR duties. Uh, yeah, I think Recursed. Sounds like, I, sounds like one where I broke one of the maps on. I was I was proud of that. That's that's my big stamp on of approval on that that I was able to break a map on that game. Patrick's paradox, parabox. Yeah, I've um, I saw that that had released and it is on my wish list actually. It's a very cool game indeed. I remember Patrick. playing the demo. Uh, Patrick's Parabox is on Steam? Yeah. Okay, let me pull that up real quick. Yeah, you should you should let people know that that's a game that is either coming out or let's see. Is it anything like Steve Steven's Sausage Roll that Knock will not do live? <laughs> um, from what I remember of uh, Patrick's Parabox, um, you control this like it's, it's a top, like a top-down puzzle game, and you control this little box like navigating mazes, sort of like mazes. But then, as you go into certain tiles, the whole environment shrinks down, and then you kind of like have a maze in a maze sort of thing. Oh um, yeah, I'm watching the uh, I'm watching the little. I don't know if I did that any justice there from my quick sell, but 
Nah, just uh, anybody who hadn't seen it, just go in and watch the video. The trailer. So I need to work out a oh, way. Oh, that's cool. How you. Ooh, Inception. This. Ooh, and set. Oh, this is like. It's like Inception. In a way, sort of. Okay, it's a. It's a completely different take on a. Well known me mechanic, game mechanic, but definitely does it in a completely different way. That looks cool. Yep. Uh, and and I applaud you for putting out a demo. That, to me, that says a whole lot. And uh, add it to my wish list because I'm definitely getting that. It has recursed in the credits. Yeah, I mean... I uh, check with Burp Monkey uh, plenty, but uh, yeah, Recurse was such a that, that I mean, such a simple to 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 like no learning curve basically like a one on the learning curve, but difficulty ramped up big time. Uh, yeah, that was. Normally not my type of game, just because I, I see it and it's uh, it's another one of these eight bit graphics kind of deals. Uh, but not, it was absolutely fantastic. One of the best puzzle games out there. Uh, but this one looks kind of. This one looks like it's on the same level. Uh, do, you know, was, do you know what? There was there was one. There's one problem with recursed. Um, it's quite a serious problem as well. Uh, I can imagine. Let's hear it. Um, it needs more restart, bird. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot all about. I forgot all about the restart, bird. Dude, you cannot forget. He's like the star of the show. I cannot forget about the restart, bird. Uh, it's been it's been so long since I played. I I did forget. Of course, you know. Uh, but I know I do I do know Paul Ponky kind of addressed that issue. Hey, well, he addressed that um, comment with somebody else once before, and I think it just get he, he just said it like gets to a stage where it's just like so complicated that um, <laughs> I, I think I remember right in him saying it's so complicated that just after a while yeah, it's just yeah. impossible to freaking like try and uh, bring that a, in. Spa, a, a safe spot to put it. Yeah, there's a restart bird Easter egg. Oh, damn. Now we have to go back and stream the whole game all over again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Well, uh, Eddie, I have wish listed and downloaded your demo. And I'll be playing that. Uh, it won't be tonight, but it will be tomorrow. So cool. I'm glad you came along and mentioned that. That looks awesome. <laughs> Too late. The secret's out. You're blown it, Port Ponky. Your best kept secret is no longer a secret. All right, I'm going to be brutally honest here. I have no idea what I'm meant to be doing. All right, I got to tell you, Knock, this one, uh, I mean, this one. If, hold on, if, hold on. IRC, I, 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 it's, it's straightforward. All right, I've, I've done something. I did a thing. Yep, there you go. You did, you made a lever. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
This is where you'll start to have fun. Well, I still need to find something here to can change the... I assume uh, to change that one, but... I said the same thing. P.I. Hunt. Huh? Boom! A door. Jig okay. A jigsaw puzzle themed. Uh, it's P.I. Hunt 8 is jigsaw puzzle themed, okay. Hey, we got a lens. All right, so now I guess we've got to open number two, which will give us another. Lens. I guess all access one, two, three looks like they. No, hold on. So number two will give us the cogwheel, so that we can then rotate this one down here. Interesting. I wonder if, however, this lens is in there. Yeah, Eddie. Uh, I don't drink wine, but uh, people that do seem to be able to get anything working when they're drinking wine. Okay, rotate that one round. And then we're going to move this one over here. Oh, so I remember. Uh, I, this one, I, I kind of liked it. I mean, I liked it, but it wasn't my favorite. It wasn't my favorite part of the game. I, yeah, my only, like, my, my comment, I think, and my thoughts would be, it's, it's okay. Um, I don't mind, like, light reflecting puzzles. I've played, like, quite a few games that have that mechanic. What I'm not... A massive fan of is like the fact that you have to constantly move from area to area it just slows the whole thing down quite dramatically that's that was my initial comment that i was making without actually saying it because i didn't want to say it uh, yeah it's the the traversing the the level yeah it, it just does it doesn't doesn't feel fluid. I don't know. I don't know how to get it in there. I, I do remember this puzzle too. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a pain. You have to. I, I would think. I would think before you do. At least for me, I just. I worked it out in my mind before I did anything, and then I just did it. Of course you did. Your death wish ate away. You do any. You can do anything. Well, no. Uh, I started moving things around and go. Oh, okay, this is not going to work. And I'm like, I need it. I mean, you know how these puzzles are. You really do have to think ahead. And 
unless you just get lucky. Uh, so I just sat there and pictured them. Kind of like kind of like the line puzzles where you have to cross a dot but you can't you can't cross a line yeah and get to the end across each of the dots or whatever yeah there's I mean sometimes I'll just go and just see if I end up grabbing it right away and occasionally I do and then if I go then I'll just sit there and stare at it and picture it in my head where I'm going Good, nope, that won't work. No sense of me doing that. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. And then I get it in my head and do it. I mean, that's the only way it works for me. Yeah, this is one of those that I kind of screwed around with for a minute or two. And then reset it. Left, came back. Came back in and uh, came back with some hard liquor and uh, and gave it a good liquor. <laughs> you know you're you know you're trying to get all those pieces to the outside, right? Uh, no, I honestly thought I was just trying to make a, a gap for this black thing here. Well, I don't know. Could be, could be not. But why are the pieces there then? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, uh, just messing with you a little there. Yeah, you got four pieces in the way you're trying to move. <laughs> All right, guys, I guess we'll finish this stream up sometime next week. Uh... Excuse me. <laughs> See, look, I knew what I was doing. He was just trying to throw me completely off. Oh, uh, God, I was, I was, honestly, I was really hoping you were going to start trying to move them all out to the outside. And... <laughs> but I did that for you. You are the master. Oh, I'm far from the master. Far from the master. All right. Uh, yep. The laser redirection room. Uh, technically a, a sunlight redirection room. All right, so I think the next one was over here. Um, next one's here. Right here. Do we need the light? Can I not just like... Yeah, one thing I hated was having to go through that middle section over and over again. Okay, so coming in there, let's reflect on that. It's going off either side. These mirrors here. Shining over there. Um... You know, uh, I don't know if if you've ever watched uh, Chris Ramsey uh, or Mr. Puzzle, any of those guys on YouTube that do puzzle games. Chris Ramsey's also a magician. 
He actually has a... He, he got a show on True TV. Uh, but it's him and his three friends doing uh, magic stuff. Prank, magic pranks and yada yada yada. But, and that's all he used to be about was magic. And then he started doing uh, puzzles. Uh, you know, physical puzzles. Um, so that, make a... that's... Sorry, I missed your message. Sorry, dude. Uh, a good one. Have a good night, Mika. And good luck with the um, the thesis. The theosis. The theosomology. Uh, sorry, carry on, Uh, no, they they've gotten some like well, Chris Ramsey's uh, Mr. Puzzle. He was he was the first one to do it. Cause that's all he did, and that's why his puzzle, his uh, YouTube channel is called Mr. Puzzle. Dude, that dude's smart, and uh, you know, it, it pretty interesting to watch some of those. Chris Ramsey, he, he's pretty smart too. You know, he'll get the room some day. He's been stumped. Uh, and I've never seen them. Uh, there's a, there's a, well, I should say there's a few puzzles that I've never seen them bring back and finish. So I don't know if he ever actually did. Yeah. Which is kind of a shame because he's gotten, he's gotten a lot of puzzles made specifically for him. Uh, and they are absolutely incredible. It's kind of like playing real life the room, like the room VR in real life. There, uh, I think I think I know the guy. Does he do like? Um, is he the guy that does like the like expensive puzzle box things? Yeah, that... he's a he's, he's a magician, and there's those expensive ones they get sent to him. Some of them he buys, he has made, he has made for them. And they, they can be 10, 15, $20,000. Yeah. And, and they're absolutely incredible. It would be so much fun to do, but one, you can't get it because he's, it was, it's a one off for him. And then some of the other expensive ones that he's paid, you know, 10, grand or more you could buy them if you can find one there's such limited edition you know there's such few available get them on ebay maybe but uh but yeah it's that that's that's like the uh, uh in real life uh the room vr stuff that he has I mean, he's got to have millions of dollars worth of uh, puzzles at this point. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that's the thing there. That The puzzle thing was secondary because his channel was primarily about magic. Uh, showing off magic, showing how some things are done, showing off uh, other people's uh, skills and tricks and things yeah, and of course he has his own uh, he made a subreddit which anybody can uh, but yeah you get a r slash Chris Ramsey on, on reddit and you'll find people posting like them posting their own tricks they're working on and like a lot of these unknowns are really really good at what they're doing uh, they just don't have a, a a crap ton of stuff in their bag but what they do have is really good but uh, anyway yeah uh, mainly I was referring to the, the puzzles that he bought or, or had or people had made for him uh, yeah, it's like uh, the box VR in real life. 
Oh, I remember doing this part. I've taken a screenshot of the um, of like the map from the door down there. I'm just, like referencing, obviously, it shows you all the reflection paths for each of the mirrors. And I'm pretty sure the only one that goes to door number three is with this mirror in this position here, reflecting across at an angle. And then I think we've got to go straight across from that, I think. So um, let's do that. I'm going to have to come down to there. There. Yep, I Eddie. don't know how that shines in there. Yeah, you're spot on, Eddie. Definitely, uh... Oh, hold on a minute. I don't know if you drive prices up as much as... Oh. Because typically those expensive one he does are are very very limited. Okay, I so, need to reflect the light into there from this side actually. So how do we do? This? I don't know. Try a mirror. Really? <laughs> oh, sorry. No back seating. Disappointed, man. Sorry. I got carried away. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Boom. I keep saying Andy, but is that. Is it Andy or is it Edder? <laughs> Uh, I think I had this Eddie. conversation with Eddie when Eddie first came to the channel, which, if I remember right, it was during... I was playing some Portal 2 Fizzler map, and I'm sure um, we settled on Eddie. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, my vision, uh, I don't see lowercase eyes that well next to other letters. Uh, I just now look without my glasses and I can see it's just E D D E R because the 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 long line on the D I couldn't tell if there was an I next to it or not. Of course here Eddie is E D D I E. But uh Yeah, so I had to ask. So Eddie, okay, cool. Yeah, because you know. Of course, you guys would have a different spelling for everything in the world. <laughs> God damn it, knock! <laughs> All right, see, so solve this, you little bitch. <laughs> you won't be able to do it. You're not going to get it. You're going to fail at it. You're going to totally, totally fail. No way possible you can get this. It's, a, it's an impossible puzzle. Yeah, see, can't do it. Thought you had it, didn't you? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, completely off now. You're all discombobulated. Wrong side of the map and everything. How did you do that? Okay. <laughs> Does it? Okay, so it doesn't lock into place, I guess. Okay, that's good. Um, maybe, maybe you did something wrong. Maybe. Uh, oh, it's Sophie. Okay, Sophie. Would you look at that? I don't think I did anything wrong. I don't think so. I think you need to restart this and do it ever again. Master Craftsman.
Dang, you went through that one like nobody's business. That one took me about five minutes. Really? No. I have to say. <laughs> okay, so final, final, final. Yeah. Puzzle games? Final, yes, final. no. Not reflecting to the. What do you mean by yes or no? I mean, what are you referring to? Uh, I would say yes. Uh, if we, anybody that's here right now would be yes. Anybody who plays Portal, yes. No. Puzzle, puzzle games are king. They're the best. What I would dis this? I would disagree with myself twenty years ago. When I what was... is this portal you speak of? Ah, uh, it's just some off the wall stupid puzzle game. You shoot holes in walls and stuff, and allows you to walk through and fall under pits of goo and die. That's all. Oh, so it's realistic then, yeah. He's. That game, yeah. will that, game, that game will never take off. Nah, never has. They they tried twice, but eh, twice. Failed times. All right, so I was thinking here that I just need to reflect once, but I need to do it twice. So, no, I don't want to see a hint. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Don't want to see a hint. Go away, hint. Go away. I don't want to see you. Go away. Go away! You can't make it go away. You can't. You just have to look away. Alright, we're gonna play with like half the screen now then. Yeah, I did that before too. And I'm like, what is Oh crap! I got, I got through about three words and I'm like, Let's go. no! That guy's gone. Yeah, no hints were needed in this in this game. In this game. So we need to. Uh, how do we do this? I'm guessing we need to reflect from two angles here. Hit both of the eyes. I think that's the idea. And. That's one, and the other one's got to come in from here. So to do that, all we need to do is bring this one down to here. And there we go. Boom, bitty, boom, boom, boom. No. Yeah, I'd say that's about the same amount of time I spent on it. Oh, like it feels about right. Like just watching you go through it, and it feels—it feels like I did all the same exact things. Uh oh, the mechanical demon trapped me. Da, da, da. Oh, would you look at that? There's like a conveniently placed portal right there. Who would have thunk it? Break on through to the other side. Found a weight. You don't need that. Throw it out the window. Oh, but I can't throw it out the window because I need to combine it with something. Eddie, Portal. Portal is this uh, board game. You have 12, 12 dice and you and you roll them and if you roll exactly 12 then you get to advance one step forward. So yeah, you gotta it's as simple as that. You just have to roll all ones every time. 
and the first to get to the 50th spot wins. Sounds a uh, sounds a cool game. Let's give it a go one day, maybe. Yeah, I I start the game came out in uh, 1987, and and Evolve has finished my first game. Wow. Yeah, it goes by pretty quick though. Looking back. All right, so. We're doing here. Okay, I think we've got to just maybe match the symbols up on each of the things, and there'll only be one combination to do so. Probably be that one. Boom. There we go. Yeah, those I find way too easy. Uh,. Every every game that those are in, it's it's the same. You can almost see the solution within you know fifteen twenty seconds every time. Yeah, the hook with the screw, huh? Now we can open a bottle of wine. That. I'm not being funny, but the end of that chain does not look big enough to put this hook on. But uh, on. proportions, ah, semantics. Come on. Look how huge that weight is. Now you can you can lift that up, carry it around with you, but yet at another point earlier in the game, you couldn't lift the trap door. I also make a point. Um, <laughs> why why was we just levitating there as well? Like. Dude, why are we solving these puzzles when we can levitate out into thin air and just go around them? Well, that that's your that's your uh, outside soul giving you a third person view. Just, you know, gotta have that camera work. Oh yeah, okay, I remember this now. Oh jeez. I remember this one. I'd probably rather not remember this one. Yeah, I don't think it's that bad. I think you know what you're trying to do, but yeah, you, you need to, yeah, there you go, I was going to say, come on, come on, boss. I'm backwards. Yeah, you need to think before you move. I, I uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't even know what my end goal was until a moment ago, so I was just like, yeah, as I do. Oh, no worries. I, I'm, I'm just being the rambling man. I was just randomly pushing stuff, so it's Working my, own, around. my own fault. Stand, standing still, rotating, sliding things. That's yeah. the new saying. <laughs> Standing around, rotating and sliding shit. Walking around pushing buttons is so twenty seventeen. Yeah, yeah, that's that's so out of here. Now it's standing around rotating and sliding. Much more advanced. Ain't that the truth? Who needs buttons when you can just slide things and turn things? Exactly. It's much more fun. Uh, uh, I'm almost at the point where I'm going to go. Not just do this. 
You don't need to. We're done. <laughs> Okay, you got your now. Thank you. Whew. And you, and as I was thinking it, you did it, and yep. I wouldn't expect anything less. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. All right, well, this is happening. Yep. Uh, it's, it's no harder than the previous. It's just more, so it'll take you about 30 seconds longer. It would if I could actually remember, like, which I rotated first. There we go. That's that. That's that. That's that. So now that we've got that worked out, the rest should follow. No. You actually had it before as well. I don't know for sure, but I think there's more than one combination on this. So that's that. So that's all set up. That's set up. Anyone that's wrong is this one and this one. That would have to be that, that would have to be that, and that doesn't fit with that. So these two here have to be different. So that can't be right. Where is it the other side? Hmm. Ah, uh, you were close, but now you're scrambling yourself more than you need to. Yeah. One at a time, it's fine. Just, you know, <laughs> slowly, slowly, one at a time. Okay. Twirly, twirly. Yeah, Big so. Twirly. Ba, 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 nope, you can't. You got it wrong. You were closer before. You're almost there, but you. Fell on the floor. Nope, it's all wrong. Dude, M Eminem has got nothing on you. <laughs> uh, I wasn't trying to rap, and I certainly wouldn't try to compete with Eminem. Uh, Freaking lyrical genius. Right, let's work with this instead. It's still wrong there. No. Uh, I'm telling you, when you first started, you were so close right off the bat. Well, I'm just like your disapproving mother, and I'm frowning upon you right now. <laughs> That's funny how, like, uh, I, I love when you get like hard puzzles and you fly right through them and then you get simpler puzzles like this and it, it starts making you struggle a little. I die a little inside. <laughs> die a little each time. These two can't be the same because this one. So uh, this it, it, ideally would need to be something like opposite, maybe. Bottom, bottom, third, that one. No. Yeah, it's, it's no good trying to like direct me because you're too far behind what I'm doing. And if you haven't learned by now, I don't have the patience to wait for you to tell me what to do. So I'm already six steps ahead of you by the time you start like saying, nope, nope, that's <laughs> not right. Nope. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I forgot about the delay, but no, I'm also not vaccinated, so because you'll you'll figure it out just fine. It's, I mean, it's not that hard. These or, two, can, these two can't be the same. Um, well, they have to be the same, don't they? No, there we go. All right. Uh, yeah, well, they have to be the same. So, which combination mixes it up? Yeah, I always forget our our voices are in sync, but uh, your video to my seeing it is lag. Yeah, this, uh, this 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 top one is is the the kicker for me. But let me just play around with this. If I can find the combination for these middle two, maybe we can be on something. So I, these two have to be the same, which then in turn yeah. says these have to be the same. They all have to be the same. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, you're not, you're not understanding what I'm saying. <laughs> nah, the brute forcing uh, methods uh, as for this as opposed to numbers, like where you have a four-digit number and you start off with zero, and then you do zero zero zero, and then you do zero zero one. Zero zero two and so on, and then you go up. Yeah, that's yeah. You got you got ten thousand combinations to go through on four digits. So this this has many less combinations to brute force. Negative three plus two I possibilities. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's a little off. Uh -huh. <laughs> These are the okay. So the middle, the middle four are the same, and the outside four are the same, but they're different from each other. So um, we need to set this up Properly. so that. Hold on. Let's ignore the outside ones a moment. I've been ignoring all of them, so I'm way ahead of you. And hold on, this... This is where this doesn't work, though. Huh? Your, your upper left how is can wrong. You, how can you have four in the center that are the same? I mean... <laughs> You're asking the wrong question. I'm not. You're, okay. No, hold on. Hold in on. For dear life. Those two are swapped. This one. There's only one combination that works. Here, there's... Those two are swapped. So that's going to be the key. Um, so we could do something like that. They can then both be like that, but then that breaks that, so it can't be that combination. 
Man, you're making this a dude. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see, let, let, let's the chit chat, all right? Don't make me feel any more stupid than I already feel. Jeez. Uh, oh, no, I said one line. Sorry. I was just talking about Sudoku. <laughs> Maybe you're talking about chat. Yeah, you must be talking about chat. Hey, yeah, there you go. Try not being stupid. <laughs> Impossible. Ah, uh, Eddie said it, I didn't. You're not being stupid. Uh, you're just being misled. Oh, wow, you're... There you go. Yeah, wow, your chat delay is... getting larger. That was a good 20 seconds. Here's an idea. Just ignore this one. And it works. Hooray, we did it. Yeah, everybody from now on, I'm um, setting chat to uh, psychic mode only. So you can't speak in present time, you have to speak future time. Wait, wait till you see the, uh, uh, the 4x4 grid version of this. Not even funny. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll refresh the cache of the um, on screen chat just to see if that sorts the problem out. Yeah, I'm still waiting for Eddie's comment to catch up to where you solve it. I feel like Wheatley should be saying something here. Like, uh, you solved it. That, you know, you solved it before, and I'll just solve it again. These middle ones are just like... You got four symbols, 32 slots. Yeah, I know. Eight, eight, eight times four. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be only one combination, though, of like all of these. Dude. Puzzle is stupid. <laughs> uh, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. So laugh. How can every combination... I mean, there's something missing. That's not. <laughs> you shitting me? <laughs> Are you shitting me? <sighs> Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't laughing. Much. <laughs> Shit, I think I'm gonna die. Hey, what's that? Gonna notice the freaking empty spots. <laughs> I did. No, I did notice them, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just say it. Stupid. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah, it's exactly. He's talking about. He notices the uh, the the sky box outside of the mirror area, and about being observant is the point of the game. And then he completely misses the most. All right, so th this is a problem I had like with the original. The original, though, if I'm completely honest, like <laughs> there were times where I totally forget about using that device. And like I said, I had noticed the fact that there was something there. Um, but I came back to this area and I thought, well, there's nothing else I can do. There's nothing to pick up. So I just instantly like discarded the fact that I could do anything with those slots on the gate. I hadn't, it wasn't the fact that I hadn't seen them. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we finally get to continue. <laughs> but uh, that was that was so much worth the wait. Knock uh, from the bottom of my heart. I thank you. And you're like, shut the fuck up, you asshole. Yeah, now you can put any of the eight anywhere you want. That simplifies things. I can't put any of the eight anywhere I want because uh, I can't swap these. I can't swap these this side with this side. So. Well, yeah, true. You don't have a, a, a middle, a middle twisty thing. That would make it, uh, add in, adding in the middle, uh, twisty thing would make it so much more difficult on options. But, hey, you're there. Well, I'm not there yet, am I? Christ. Uh, nah, but, I mean, you're actually... You're actually able to solve it now. Uh, there's that. Uh, don't listen to Eddie. He's trying to give you false hints about rotating stuff. You should be walking around pushing buttons instead. I'll do those together. 
That works, that works. Well, re renewing your... That uh, doesn't work there, though. Renewing your... Uh, chat for OBS has definitely made it quicker. Oh, there's probably something going on with Streamlabs in. Yeah, it was just slowing down because you didn't have those uh, two handles in place. <laughs> hey, boy. Anybody else having fun? Yeah, loads. <laughs> yeah, those, those four are wrong. I'm waiting for you to see the other thing you can do. Please don't. <laughs> Probably the other thing I can do is like solve the puzzle. <laughs> Hey, poor Punky, seriously, keep no backseating. Can't do that. That's against, that's against the knock rules. Eddie, too much information. One more time and I'll have to uh, ban you for life. <laughs> All right, Eddie. They got it. You're giving too much information out. You have to delete this uh, hint feature. Oh, good God. I think I need to go check my milk. Make sure it's still good. Hey, knock. Uh, Chang, hydrate. Stretch. There's, there's no command for it, so I had to say it out loud. <laughs> uh, I love poor Monkey's sense of humor. This uh, here uh, can't be the same as that one there. So that's got to be different. So that rotation can't work. Um, that rotation can't work. I was just looking at my uh, 18th monitor and finally got back to my second monitor, which this is on. And we're still on the same uh, puzzle. Okay. Let me go back to monitor 16, 18, put on hold, minimize, 16, maximize. All right, so this combination doesn't work. Take them there. That can't work because they're opposites. Nope. There we go. You had it right there. Nope. Turn it back. Turn it back. No. Okay. Never mind then. I forgot. You're nine steps ahead of me. They don't have shit, man. Because this this right one's broken, so I can't do this here.
that this is not the puzzle that I thought would make you want to put your forehead on a desk. Yeah, it's, I, I just I don't know. I'm not enjoying this at all. I don't, I mean, I don't even know if there's like a logical way to work this out. Um, I, I can't see a logical way to work this out other than just randomly trying stuff. So it's becoming a bit of a frustration. I'm sure there is a perfectly logical way to work it out, but I'm not seeing it. What I'm noticing is, like, I, I know it's not really part of the puzzle, but like anything connected by these diagonals here can't be the same symbol. Because that would mean both of the ones on the inside diagonal would then need to be the same as the outside, which doesn't work. Um, so I don't know if I can work with that to... do anything okay I want to go against uh, your rules and I will tell you that your far upper left is correct as far as those symbols belong there not in that order but they belong there Hey! Yeah, that wasn't fun. Well, I could tell you weren't having fun. I don't know if that if that was too much of a hint. Let me know, and I won't do that again. No, I, I was. So, personally, it wasn't fun anymore. So, uh, I, I I understand. Uh, I definitely get where you're coming from 100%. Like, you get to a point, it's just like, okay. Yeah, fuck this. It's that thing with the room, like that room puzzle on the freaking organ all over again. <laughs> the door is locked. Maybe that's why it has a keyhole. I honestly don't remember this part. Yeah, I forget. I forget what you're supposed to do here, so I can't. And I won't want anyway, but. Ah, hey. There it is. 
Yeah, I was pretty sure it was in the bench, but I couldn't remember the same one. Slide. Slide, spin. Not walk around, push buttons, slide and spin. Oh, that's my desktop. I think zoom in, yeah. Hey, boop. Hey. And journey continues onward. It's, uh, this chapter just keeps on going. Jeez. Uh, all right. I don't know if it does it save if I go to the main menu. Hope so. If not, well, I'll be... uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. If, you... if not, I'll be uh, uh, annoyingly replaying this next stream. Uh, I think it's sure it I saves. think it's save when like if you complete a puzzle, it automatically saves. It would be nice if it gave you uh, an on-screen yeah, notification that it's saving, but. Well, yeah, no, normally it's just like, normally think it'll pop up and it'll say, oh, are you sure you want to quit? Uh, you'll lose your progress, et cetera, et cetera. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. We're all no, good. I, I think all right. it, I think it saves wherever you are. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to call it there because uh, it's pretty darn late and I want to go to bed. So uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. Appreciate the support. We'll be back on um, Saturday night. I think Saturday night will be the uh, next stream. So, uh, yeah, if you're around, come and uh, hang out with us. Gratefully appreciated. Thanks once again, Deathwish. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, Paul Ponky, and everybody else that is hanging around and lurking in the backgrounds. Uh, but until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. Happy gaming. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.